Welcome back everyone. Let's talk about the Forbes organ. I even got my old Cine Samples hoodie out of the wash for this one. That's how dedicated I am to the quality of these videos. This hoodie, fun fact, actually uh, taught me that with male and female hoodies, the um, zipper at the bottom is reversed. Did y'all know that? I did not know that. Anyway, this is a dude's jacket, and so that's why. All right, that's not why we're here. Um, let's talk about the organ. They have like a whole video about where it was recorded and the history of the place and whatnot. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'd say go watch that because it's way better than me just talking about it. Um, I'm not personally super interested in that just because we all have shitty libraries that were recorded in great places by great people and we all have great libraries that were recorded in no-name spaces by no-name people so to me it's really more about the end result does it sound good is the editing good is the scripting good you know the general stuff if it works it works and i don't really care where and how it was recorded to be honest it costs 150 dollars it's roughly 11 gigabytes of samples and you can download it via native access. It loads into the free contact player. It's super convenient, for first of all, for those who don't have the full player, but also um, native access in general is very convenient, I think, because you have everything in one place and you don't need to download a separate downloader from the developer and deal with all that. It comes with 150 presets and extra slots for your own presets. The interface isn't immediately self-explanatory. Like I s kept staring at it and then eventually I was like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> it looks like an organ, but also not. I, anyway, I just watched their walkthrough and then I was like, okay, now it makes sense. So take the five minutes and watch their walkthrough video and you'll get it too. Or maybe you're smarter than me and you get it immediately, who knows. So the different manuals of the organ were recorded with different pipe combinations and each layer has eight to 10 different pre-recorded pipe combinations. You can access the four different manuals in the interface and then basically choose your pipe combinations or use a preset, that's fine too, or use a preset and then modify the preset. There's like a lot of combinations you can try out. You can also, and this is actually pretty cool, you can assign the different manuals to different MIDI channels. So you can have one patch loaded, but it goes to four different MIDI tracks, and then each track will be a different manual. You can toggle this uh, MIDI routing switch in the interface, um, and it'll allow you to do that, so that way you can control the different manuals separately. The swell section can also be controlled with CC1. Apparently those specific pipes are inside a uh, wooden cabinet, and so CC1 kind of mimics the opening and closing of that wooden box. And the whole library reacts to CC11, which I'm really happy about because I think all the other pipe libraries I have do not react to CC11, and you can't add it in the back end because it's somehow they locked it in the script and it makes me furious every single time when developers do that. You know, don't lock CC7 and CC11 in the script, making it impossible to add that in the back end and use these CCs. I mean, they're so common. Please don't take those away from us. So this organ has CC11 already in there. And if you want, you can even add velocity control as well. Um, it's something I did after the fact so that basically you can have the notes of the melody louder than the accompaniment. This is not how organs work. <laughs> this is not how pipe organs work, but it's kind of nice to have that control in MIDI and when you're trying to mix, you know, it just saves you a lot of extra work. As you can see in the interface, it has a lot more effects and mapping options and all kinds of stuff in there that I'm not gonna get into. They have a whole walkthrough video that you can watch if you're interested in all of that. The only thing they really didn't do is sample individual pipes, but that kind of makes sense because that's not really how you would use an organ to begin with. So they pre-selected pipe combinations, like they had a person there who would, you know, give them all kinds of options. And then they would, um, for each manual, record pipe combinations instead of individual pipes. I think that would also be super noisy if you try to record every single pipe by itself. 
but also creatively it just doesn't make sense to do it that way so that was a good choice i think um i've heard some people say that they find this library to be noisy which i think maybe they just never heard a pipe organ but especially the larger pipes there's just a lot of air being moved through these pipes so there's there is air noise but that's natural noise of air running through the pipes. So it's not actually hall noise or anything. Um, so I have not, aside from a handful of presets that aren't meant to sound natural to begin with, um, aside from a handful of those, I have not actually heard any noises on this library that aren't supposed to be there. The editing and scripting are all good. I haven't found any bugs or any, any problems, any badly timed samples or anything it's all um, I mean it's a bit simpler than other libraries because organs are generally an on off type instrument um, but yeah it's all well timed well edited well scripted I, I have no complaints on that side they have a lot of classical pieces on their website to showcase the organ but I was like well I have this piece I wrote for a documentary short it was initially written for piano but I was like, if I replaced most of the piano with a pipe organ, it would actually get this kind of interstellar vibe. So I kind of tried to recreate that a little bit to see how it uh, blends with orchestra and you know other elements. And it, it blends really well. You can put a lot of reverb on it, I think. Um, I also used a lot of Valhalla Shimmer on it that kind of gives it that spacey type vibe. Um, but it works really well. For my demo, I used the, um, the default preset, and I also used my favorite, which is the looks preset, which is kind of more of a flute type, smaller sound. One downside for me was that it saved in the latest version of Contact um, and I actually just did a project, a religious horror film that needed a ton of pipe organ and I couldn't use it because I couldn't update Contact in the middle of the project. Um, would not recommend doing that. You can if you want to. I did not want to because I was on multiple movies at the same time and I did not want to mess with my rig in any way. Um, Otherwise I would have used this, but uh, instead I had to use other products because uh, I just couldn't update in the middle of a project. Is it worth the price? Is it worth $150? Yes, for the content that you're getting, yes it is. It's much more um, extensive than other pipe organ libraries that I have. Um, the real question is how often do you need a pipe organ? Like, if you're gonna be doing a movie that actually needs that, or a TV show, or you're just really into pipe organs and write for it all the time, um, then it's definitely worth it. But if you only need it, like, once every blue moon, um, then, yeah, I would probably say I would go with a free Leeds Town Hall organ or something. Th those are perfectly fine um, products as well. They're much more limited in what they can do, 100%. Um, but this is really, this gives you the amount of flexibility that's really only worth it if, if you really need a good pipe organ for something and you really want all those functionalities in there. Then this is definitely the one I would go with. I actually didn't buy it, they sent this to me. Probably should have disclosed that at the beginning of the video. But anyway, this is my channel, I do what I want. So um, yeah. Great pipe organ. If you need one, if you want one that is very flexible and sounds great, I'd say this is the one to go with. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.